Hello dear students, let's see this very good question of IITJ Advanced 2014. The question involves relative motion of kinematics. So the question states a rocket is moving in a gravity free space with a constant acceleration of 2 meter per second square along positive x direction as shown in figure. The length of the chamber inside the rocket is 4 meter. A ball is thrown from the left hand of the chamber in the positive x direction with a speed of 0 0.3 meter per second relative to the rocket. At the same time, another ball is thrown along negative x direction towards the first particle with a speed of 0 0.2 meter per second from its right end relative to the rocket. The time in seconds when the two balls hit each other. So this is the rocket of length 4 meter and it's moving with the acceleration for 2 meter per second square and we are looking the problem from the rocket frame and as given the question the two particles say a and b are moving with velocity 0 0.3 meter per second and 0 0.2 meter per second that is with respect to rocket and we want to look everything with respect to rocket so if we want to see their acceleration with respect to rocket so acceleration of a will be uh, 2 meter per second square towards left and that will be of the b will also be uh, 2 meter per second square towards left I mean towards the negative x direction so how the path of a will be because of the initial velocity and the uniform acceleration are opposite so that will be a turning motion like that and for particle b initial velocity and the uniform acceleration are in the same direction so this will be again a straight line motion but without turning like that so now where they will collide so there can be two possibilities so uh, let's see the possibility one the possibility one they uh, collide inside the rocket chamber like this and somewhere here they collide so the time of collision we can uh, calculate straightforward and that is where the most student uh, error and uh, let's calculate directly so the time of collision delta t i can take uh, any particle with respect to any suppose i am taking uh, a with respect to b so a is moving with velocity 0 0.5 meter per second with respect to b relative separation is 4 meter and relative acceleration 0 so time of collision will be uh, 4 divided by the relative separation divided by the constant relative velocity which is 0 0.5 meter per second so the time of collision will be 8 second and now the second possibility is and again uh, uh, before discussing second possibility I am again uh, supposing that let's take the unrestricted motion of particle A there is some passes to go outside you suppose uh, a moves something like that and the collision takes place somewhere here and this time of collision uh, we calculated before here 8 second but this will be true if it crosses from here to here only then it will uh, collide here so let me calculate what is the time of motion of a up to here so let's calculate this time and this time we can calculate uh, very easily uh, by the formula uh, this is a case of a turning motion suppose this time is delta t dash is equal to uh, 2u by a and u is 0 0.3 and a is 2 so that would be 0 0.3 second now what is the meaning of this thing so the particle a will come here at 0 0.3 second and it cannot go past it cannot break this wall so it will stay here but the time of collision was 8 second so so far the collision has not taken place so what actually happening so by the time the particle a has reached here the particle b would have been some, some somewhere here and uh, after some time it will come at this point where particle is now resting and waiting for b to hit and then the collision will happen so so we cannot use this formula because once the particle a is rest so that we cannot take the case that their relative acceleration zero this result has come this answer has come assuming their relative acceleration has become zero but the relative acceleration will not be zero after 0 0.3 second 
particle A will come to this point and we are assuming that this is a perfectly elastic wall and particle will just stick to here and will stay at rest and everything is with respect to this rocket but the particle B has a still acceleration 2 meter per second square so their relative acceleration will not be zero so answer from uh, this way is wrong so what is the right way to get the answer at 0 0.3 second particle A has come up to here and by that time particle B somewhere here so I will uh, look again in the frame of the rocket and uh, for the collision to take place particle B will have to come up to here at which position particle A is resting. So let me apply the second equation of motion which is uh, S is equal to ut plus half a t square and uh, let me take this as a positive direction and uh, I am talking about the particle B. So when particle B travels a distance 4 meter that is a displacement also so the collision happens so s is equal to plus 4 initial velocity uh, is 0 0.2 uh, time let me assume t acceleration is 2 and this t square so that is a quadratic equation t square plus 0 0.2 t minus 4 is 0 and this is a very easy quadratic equation everybody know how to solve so i am writing the direct answer that will get the positive answer 1.9 second and that's our answer thank you